Hello, this is Frank Saline, giving you a quick overview on risk management. Winding up the month of May 2013, we ended up holding the Business Brain Trust Conference, of course, as we always do in May and November of each year. And along our risk management theme, the Risk Smart Business Grade Level 2 presentation that was given at the Business Brain Trust Conference uh, is recorded here for you to review at your own leisure. The risk smart categories, of course, being the safety manager or team, risk management, safety, insurance coverages, your advanced legal defense planning, emergency action plans, facility security, crisis management, and areas of bonus like an overall excellent safety record are components of the risk smart module. We can blow these up a little bit. You could probably stop and print these if you want. These documents are all in the best practices library, of course, and so you can explore these at your leisure, but the different components of safety, insurance, etc. are really, really important and well worth using as a checklist. We've got a surprise for you with an application in the making called Risk Assure Solutions, which will be an app that will combine your equipment checks, repairs, maintenance, accident incident forms, uh, suppliers and vendors, all kinds of amazing features that you'll be able to keep uh, in an online app from now on uh, beginning this summer. Looking at the rating categories a little deeper now into the advanced legal defense planning, your overall business and individual programs, such things as what are the 10 things that each program as well as the overall business is doing to really shore up its, its defense. What things are we doing that prevent injuries, accidents, etc. And what three things keep those program managers up at night or you as the owner or administrator up at night in terms of danger areas? And what emergency action plans have we put in place to combat those uh, nightmare scenarios? One of the most striking examples of great safety culture development comes from the Calgary Gymnastics Center in Canada. And my friends Rob, Brett, Kayla up there and their board have done a phenomenal job of developing a safety culture where there's communication about safety and the emphasis on safety, as you can see here in this little grid, between the staff, the administration, the parents, and the children. This happens to be a not-for-profit organization, a very well-run one, I might add, uh, and so the management and the board of directors are two parts of the administration. In your case, it may or may not be that way. And their elements of safety culture are looking at the big picture, staff education, communication, the class and coach safety, the safety system, and the safety uh, check as well. They do all these things very, very well. In the big picture, you can see here, I don't have to read these to you, of course, but the thing that they do in communication is probably the most critical thing. Obviously, they instill pride in their staff, and they've got a safety leader position. Uh, one person has about 25% of their job dedicated to safety, equipment, facility checks, etc. With communication, you can see here the critical thing that they do is they have safety as the number one topic on each and every meeting agenda, whether it's a marketing meeting, something on customer service, uh, whether it's about the facility, whether it's about competition schedules, whatever it is, it is number one on every meeting. And so all meetings start with a safety moment, the recommendations are brought, all safety concerns are shared immediately, they're communicated well, and we'll help them uh, report those and keep them in an even more concise format with the new Risk Assure Solutions that's actually coming up. But you can see the things they do here. You can go back through these with your own staff and see what they do for class and coach safety, their safety system and the way they integrate it into their class curriculums as well as into their everyday meetings, and their safety checks, which again we'll be helping with. Emergency procedure training might include the following. There's documents to this effect, uh, separate documents in the Best Practices Library. Just type in emergency in the search feature in the Best Practices Library, and you'll see every file folder and every document come up. You can use them as templates if you like. More on emergency procedure training, specific things for specific incidences. Even more, it's amazing to think how many emergencies can actually come up. Again, I'm not going to read these to you. You can review them, and there's documents in our best practices library. 
crisis management is something a little bit different. Uh, we think that the issues that normally come up are more emergency preparedness. These things are uh, issues that are going to come up that we know they'll come up. And we want to reduce the risk in those, but we know they're going to come up. We can deal with them in advance. Crisis management, however, as you can see from the definition here, uh, it's the impact of a sudden adverse event that fractures the core of a company's operation and represents an immediate threat to its ability to stay in business. So this is obviously more serious. Just another way to put it here in terms of issues management versus crisis management. Crisis management we have to anticipate. There are issues that are here and there's the four core functions to consider when dealing with an issue. And we have lots of documents again in the best practices library. So now breaking down these to anticipate and analyze the issues. Identify the key publics whose support is vital to the issue. The key behaviors of the key publics. And again, this is probably a whole meeting on crisis management that you have with your key staff. In the best practices library, there is a risk management self audit, which goes through all 11 of these areas that are here. I'm not going to uh, trot this all out for you because it actually is quite involved that you can uh, tap in risk management self-audit or something similar to that. Similar, uh, coming soon, is the Risk Assure Solutions that I was telling you about, which is a program that's a software app that tracks our internal and external facility safety, incident reportings, equipment and asset inventory and repairs, your vendors, your insurance coverages, your emergency procedures, all of this and more. You can read a little bit about more about this here. But we solve a lot of problems. One of them is the reporting of incidents and accidents just taking too long or getting reliable testimonial from witnesses or linking accidents and incidences to specific equipment. There's a lot of them here. Main, the main one, of course, is improving the safety and security of children and the standard of care for children. And in the long run, it may reduce in premium, insurance premiums, not by actual reductions from what you're paying now, but the prevention of increases from just minimizing our risk of claims. Obviously, the lower loss ratios that insurance companies have, the more they can keep their rates the same. I think that's where we're headed in the future. A lot of functionality in this system. We'll be beta testing this out in uh, late June and uh, being ready, ready for full launch in this in August. More functionality in the system. You can review these at your leisure. These are all things that we wish we had had uh, many years ago. Finally, it's coming now. Everything's going online and in the cloud. And of course, that's a great way to for you to keep track of your organization and the uh, risk and safety factors as well. Yeah, more functionality. There's just some nice outlines there. Okay, I'm going to let you go for today. That's the, uh, that's the presentation that we gave at the Business Brain Trust Conference on uh, risk and safety, and we'll look forward to talking to you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.